around the world, communities are embracing clean and healthy solutions to fight the climate crisis. With a global agreement now in place, the time for action is now. When we started out, the majority of people in Ontario didn't realize we had five dirty coal-fired power plants that were a huge threat to a, a public health. We were just a small organization up against um, very powerful opponents. All the sophisticated people in Ontario didn't think we had a chance. The Clean Air Alliance was established in 1997 to advocate for a complete phase out of our five dirty coal fired power plants. We had 50 or 60 smog alert days each year. There was an air pollution public health crisis. I was a family doctor here in Richmond Hill. It was pretty clear to clinicians that air pollution was affecting patients' health. And a big breath in. Very good. The problem was the clinicians see them one by one and patients get affected one by one. And we knew that if we gave an idea to people of how large the problem was, that they would be taken aback. So we decided to quantify that. We actually published the numbers of people who are being affected. How many people have to stay off work? How many people have to visit a family doctor? How many people are admitted to hospital? How many people die? The Ontario Medical Association showed that our dirty coal plants were killing over 600 people a year in this province. Well, we knew right from the get-go that the only solution for this would be a large public policy shift, that individuals couldn't make the difference here. When we were launching our campaign, we hired a very good economist to do the analysis for us about what would be the cost of phasing out coal. And he, he showed me, you know, it cost $1.86 a month. And then I stopped at, at a coffee shop and ordered a cup of coffee and a donut. And the person said, that'll be $1.86. And I said, wow, that's the same as the cost of phasing out dirty coal. Thank you. And so I, I knew that we had now the clear, simple message that we could deliver to people the good news was that the political process responded very quickly and very decisively. It turns out that the single greatest cause of air pollution in the province of Ontario is coal-fired generation. We're closing a great polluter that needed to be closed. The fact that, uh... Ontario Hydro was owned by the provincial government, so it was much easier to order the phase-out of coal plants which they owned than it would have been if Ontario Hydro was a, a privately owned company. It was a 17 year struggle. The last coal fired power plant was shut down on April 8th, 2014. Ontario was the first jurisdiction in the world to phase out dirty coal in order to achieve public health and environmental goals. It was equivalent to taking seven million cars off the road, and it's the single largest greenhouse gas emissions reduction initiative in North America. Now that we've phased out a dirty coal, our long-term goal is to move Ontario towards a 100% renewable electricity grid. Innovators are hard at work. We can make climate action a reality. Together, we're on the road forward.